What's up, IT family? So I don't know if you had already figured this out, but I have been doing modifications on my settings and figured out how to do the support feature in Zoom so that if they'd rather use Zoom for support instead of Teams, there is that option because a lot of them are more comfortable with Zoom. To access and turn it on, you need to go into your advanced settings. To do that, open up the Zoom application client, this thing here, and click to go into your settings. And then within your settings, click on view more settings, which will launch your browser and bring up the additional settings in the browser. And there's a lot of settings in here, including the waiting room feature, which is very helpful so that people don't crash your meeting. <laughs> And then scroll down through these settings. A lot of good settings here. Read each one. They're very helpful. This one right here, embed password and meeting link for one-click join. This just makes it easier for people to jump in so they don't have to type in the meeting ID after the fact. It just takes them straight in. Uh, but as far as support, so if we scroll down here, scrolling, 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 down here under in meeting advanced, it says remote support. Allow meeting host to provide one-to-one -one remote support for another participant. Turn that on. Now, once you turn that on and you start a meeting, you will notice, waiting for it to connect, you will notice a new option here that says support. Okay, so I have invited someone to join into our meeting, so we see them over here. Since I have the waiting room enabled, which is super helpful, Make sure you do it because then people can't crash your party. I'm going to go ahead and let him in. Oh, look, it's Wesley. We know who he is. Ah. So now I'm going to go down here and select support. And see, now we have three options. And one of them is request desktop control or application control or computer restart. So I'm going to request desktop control. And it tells me in the corner that we're waiting for his response. Should I deny? No, you should accept. And it says that he has shared his screen. I do con have control over his desktop. This is his icon here. And see, I can actually move it around and put it a different place. So I do have where I, want it. <laughs> I do have full control of his computer. So you can use Zoom to provide support. Just turn on the options in your advanced setting. I'm going to stop remote support, and we're back into our meeting. So very helpful when helping faculty or staff with issues. Hope this helps.